Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I'm going to show you a new way to play Xbox on your Odin, which is much better than the official app. You'll see the official app is right here. But we're, today we're going to be looking at XPX Play, uh, and let's get into it. <laughs> so, this connects at a much higher resolution than the official Xbox app and has some other advantages. So let's just connect and get right to it. So the biggest advantage it has is that uh, you can play Xbox 360 games, but along with that, you have much clearer resolution, which I'll also show really quickly. And uh, it's just generally a much better app than the Xbox app. There's also less artifacting and you don't get this stupid thing in the corner here that blocks the screen. So I'll just show it quickly in Catan. You can see many details here of um, the picture and it looks crystal clear whereas the native xbox app will look very blurry just choose whatever i want like this there's essentially no lag just change apps here you can change to a xbox 360 app i have daytona usa and there it loaded right up playing xbox 360 from my series s to my odin and which you can't do with the native uh, Xbox app. I'm signed in. And there I am. Let's show a little bit of gameplay. No problem here. <clears throat> no lag. Sometimes when I play from another room, I will feel a bit of lag, though. But also, there's no artifacting like on the Xbox app. And you notice in the left hand, upper left hand corner, there's no overlay preventing you from seeing that corner of the screen. It's a really nice experience. Uh, I recommend this if you're playing another room. I'd recommend more. This for games like the board game like Catan, like I showed you earlier, or um, oh, <laughs> games like Slay the Spire. So, so you can see it works. I want to show you now one other thing you can do with this that you can't do with the native app is you can actually browse the store, which can just be really convenient just to go into the store. Like, I'm going to check out the deals. You know, everything you do with the store. Because if you try the native app, it just says it doesn't work. Okay, I want to show you one more thing you can do with this. I'm going to disconnect now. And one other thing is you can say GamePod mode. And then you're not transferring the signal to your Odin. But it's basically, you've turned your Odin into an Xbox controller. Which can be really good, say you only have one controller. And you want to have a two-player game with a friend. Then... There you go, here's your second controller. You don't need to buy another Xbox controller. I'll just show what that looks like really quickly. There you go, and it has the touchpad, touch screen there, but you don't really need that. But we go here, I can just see up there. I have everything. It's just like having a controller connected to the Xbox. quite convenient. So back out of here and I'll show you the settings because the Xbox app itself has very few settings you can uh, configure. So I just want to show you some of the settings here in the app. So you have uh, different profiles you can set up here. Uh, streaming settings so you can set the resolution. So you know that uh, 720p will be for Xbox 360 games, you can't change that. But um, you can set it to 1080p to have a nice clear picture, which is nice in this 1080p display. Your bitrate, real-time coding, video stream format, 
blah 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 <laughs> enable picture in picture format i personally like to turn this off because uh, i find it annoying that i leave the app and uh, it immediately um, shows me a picture of the game i'm like i'm done i don't need to see it anymore so you see there's just lots and lots of options here that you can pick uh, orientation when you can choose as the portrait that's not really useful for us on here you can change the vibration settings you have button mapping you have a remote layout a gamepad layout you can register a new xbox and you can configure your internet access so for example if you want to play when you're not home you can play from anywhere in the world it'll try to set your router settings um, automatically but I've tested this with a hotspot and it did connect to my Xbox. So I'm excited to try that out sometime when I'm not home. And then just your standard about stuff right here. So I highly recommend the app. It's uh, much better than a native app. When you run this, you want to run this with the um, set to Odin mode. And just to show you the issue with the native app really quick, I'm going to jump in here in the Xbox mode. Go into the Xbox Remote Play. I'm going to sort of set Slay the Spire here. You see this just sticks here in the corner this entire time. It's just super annoying. So, and then you see the artifacting there as well that you don't have with uh, the Xbox X. XBX Play app. I'm just going to go here in the game. Let's see what Neil wants. He wants to greet me. I'll upgrade it. Yeah, I'll upgrade a card real quick. Let's upgrade Neutralize. That's a good one. Alright. Now you see immediately the problem is you have your three keys in the corner here, but you can't actually see them because this overlay covers them up and it's a really important part of the game. So it could be that you're playing a game where the Information in the upper left hand corner is really important. And also this is obscured over here with the time. And just to show what I was uh, showing earlier, let's try to enter Daytona USA. You see, sorry we can't launch this with the native app. And try the store, and it says the same thing. So I highly recommend the XBX Play app. It's much better than the uh, native app given from Microsoft. And I got it for 7 euros on the store. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And um, see you next time on RG Geek.